Hey guys, I'm Bryce Sander, and Whitney Carson is here, and we are Hi. live! Hi everybody, this is Facebook Live. Yeah, how are this you doing? Crazy. I'm good, I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Thanks if, for having me. If you've got questions for Whitney, drop them in the comments below. We'll be getting them here, I'll be yes. asking them for you. But I have some questions of my own to kick off this interview. Okay, let's do it. Are you enjoying a little bit of time off from Dancing with the Stars right now? I am. I'm enjoying my time off for sure. I've had an amazing summer. I actually went back home to Utah where uh, I currently live now. But uh, we just have been having so much fun just vacationing. I actually did my own show in Utah. Exciting. So yeah, so my coworker Lindsay Arnold and I, we did a show together and it was actually our husband's idea to do it. <laughs> funny enough. Um, but it was just really funny. We were like looking at each other and they were talking about dance and we're like, this is so weird. I'm like, I can't believe that you were talking about leaps and turns and dance. <laughs> I'm like, stop, this is weird. But anyway, yeah, so I we did that, and it was awesome. It was just like a one-night thing, and it was called Born and Raised Utah, so that was really fun. And, yeah, so I worked a little bit, and I vacationed a little bit, and it was fun. It was awesome. Nice. You're in your last few weeks right before the madness starts again. I know. So I'm actually waiting to hear if, you know, when I'm going to meet my partner. So... Um, it should be in the next few days, hopefully <laughs> soon, hopefully a good one, hopefully he's nice. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting until they give me the heads up to go. But we've been we've been doing a couple rehearsals, but nothing too crazy yet. The madness hasn't started yet. Not quite yet. Yeah. Do you have any celebs you're thinking of that you're like, I hope it's this person, I hope oh, this yeah. person comes through? I've got a ton. Uh, Channing Tatum, Zac Efron. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, Liam Hemsworth. <laughs> Any Hemsworth. <laughs> Any Hemsworth, really, bring him on in. Um, no, I, I'm i just, at this point, like, I've been blessed to have amazing partners, so I think at this point, just somebody who's really nice and really willing to work hard, and I think one of the, you know, Olympians would be awesome, since the yeah. Olympics just happened. I mean, anybody over there, like Michael Phelps. <clears throat> um, <laughs> but um, I'm really open to anybody who's just willing to work hard. Yeah, I've, we've heard a lot of rumors about the lady Olympians, but not so many male yeah. Olympians. We're hearing a lot of the gymnast names being thrown around, I like know. Simone Biles. And oh, that would be awesome. I really hope she decides to do it. But I, it's so funny because I usually hear tons of rumors by now, and I've heard zip, like zero. So if you have any, any intel, let me know. <laughs> I've heard... The two I've heard are Simone Biles and okay. Teresa Giudice. So no guys oh. for you, un unfortunately. Dang. That does, <laughs> that does me no good. I all. know. But yeah, element of surprise. Element of surprise, I guess, yeah. You've had some they pretty really good do. partners. Like, they've never yeah. given you a dud. You've had Cody Simpson, Alfonso, Chris Soles, Carlos Penavega, and Von Miller. Yeah, yeah. I've been pretty dang <laughs> lucky. I know. I'm like, let's keep this luck rolling until, like, a lot more seasons. It's time for another Miraball trophy for you. I think it is, yeah. It's time. I mean, it's been, what? Three seasons. Three seasons. Three seasons since I've had one, and I think it's time. Comes it's back. Time. Come yeah. back around. It's got to come. All right. We're getting fan questions now. Carol wants to know, how did you like dancing with Vaughn this past season? I love dancing with Vaughn. He is just a big teddy bear. Like, <laughs> he looks intimidating because he's all got his swag on, and he's, like, just huge and massive. Um, but he is just so nice, and he's so down to earth, and we just had a lot of fun. I think at the beginning, he wanted to have way too much fun <laughs> so i think we like once we like cracked down the whip and like actually like got him in there and like he was just working his butt off he really wanted to make it you know to the end so i think um our relationship was just really unique and just fun and um he just actually just texted me he wants me to come to a game oh. so i'm so excited i'm like i'm a broncos fan now for life now <laughs> so. you get to he was in your world, and now you get to go to his world. Exactly, but I'm going to be on the sidelines, like, point your toe. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Straighten your legs. <laughs> all right, Kate says, this is your season, Whitney. We're all rooting for you. Oh, so season thanks. 23 coming up. Yeah. Do you know of any, like, season what can we expect from season 23? Do you I know anything yet? I really don't know anything, but I am just super excited. The, the producers are awesome, where they just make the show new and unique every single season. So I think we have a couple of... Um, opportunities where we can do feature performances now. Oh, cool. So, like, the pros will actually be able to, like, create something with another pro. So I think that's kind of cool because now it gives us a, a chance to, like, use our creativity to the fullest. Um, Get another Emmy nomination under your belt. I know. I'm like, <laughs> uh, there, ding, ding, ding. Um, but, no, I'm just super excited to get in there and just take risks and, you know, just really show that my partner can dance and um, just make him shine this season. So, all right. Yeah, I'm excited. Isaac says, what's your favorite music to dance to? 
It's my favorite music to dance to. That's always hard. I always, I always just listen to the radio, like whenever I'm in the car or just hanging around, and just look at the songs that I really love and really take to. And um, it's funny, like some people just like listen to music and they just kind of like jam out. But I'm like thinking of steps, like choreo. as I'm like <laughs> choreo, like as I'm listening to the music. So it all really just depends. Like I really like really passionate music, really dramatic, and then I also really like fun and uplifting and just kind of chill music. But so it all kind of depends on my mood, I guess. What's your favorite dance style to choreograph and teach a partner? I'll tell you what the hardest one is. The there hardest you go. One, <laughs> the hardest one to teach is actually samba. Okay. And you wouldn't really think that because it's just so it's just kind of like slow and like you kind of hang back, but the actual technique takes years for people to perfect. Got it. It's just cuz it's so foreign to their bodies. Um but so that's the hardest part. You have to match the rhythm with the technique, and that's the hardest bit. So um, we usually just try and not get that. We say, <laughs> please not samba, anything but samba. Um, but yeah, but I really like teaching tango. I think that's super passionate, and they usually pick up tango pretty quick because it's all just steps and really sharp flicks. Um, but yeah. Got it. That's much it. All right, Nikki says, spill. Spill the tea. Who's your favorite partner? You have to have one. Oh my gosh. I feel like Don't you, do that to me. I feel like you could safely say Alfonso just because you took home the Mirabal trophy with I know. Him. I usually do that. I, just <laughs> to be safe, I say Alfonso, but I try not to specify anybody because it's like, okay, so tell me who your favorite sibling is. It's yeah. kind of like that. And then you're like... Changes every day. It does. <laughs> it changes every day. Um, but yeah, I've been blessed with really amazing partners, so I'd say all of them. Gail wants to know, when did you start dancing? Because we knew you from So You Think You Can Dance before we knew you from Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. So I started dancing when I was a little, little girl. My mom put me in when I was three years old, and I think she wanted to live vicariously through me. Got because, it. Because <laughs> she loved it, and um, she could tell that I really loved it because I could just not stop moving ever since I was little. So um, she put me in dance class, and I absolutely loved it. I started with tap, then I went to jazz and hip-hop and ballet and ballroom eventually when I was about nine years old. Um, wow, the right old age of nine. <laughs> yeah. And then I just remember, like, it was a weird thing with boys then, right? Like, the boys had cooties. Yeah. And, but you had to be so comfortable around them, and you had to, like, touch their hand, and they had to touch your waist. And so I would cry every day to my mom. Oh, I'm like, please don't make me go, please. And she, I'm really glad that she made me go <laughs> because I got over that phase, and now I am where I am. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I know. Thanks, Mom, for that. That was a little, a little random thought. But anyway, so yeah, I started when I was super little. What does your mom think about where you have wound up? Because I can't imagine when she put you into dance classes that she thought, yeah. oh, she'd be dancing on TV. No. Um, she's extremely proud. You should see her. She's like my number one fan on Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook. If something's happening, you better know that she's going to know about it, and she's going to tweet about it. She's like one of those moms. She's so awesome. Hi, Whitney's mom. I'm guessing you're Hi. watching. She is watching live right now. She's probably commenting. Like, hi, Whitney. I like your hair today. She's so cute. She's awesome. Back to dancing styles. What is your favorite just personal, this is my personal. favorite style of dance? So, like, okay. So, if I were to go into, like, a ballroom and they said dance something for us. Yes. I probably would do... Right now, I'd probably do a jive. A jive just because it's super like energetic fun and to fun. Watch. And it's kind of early in the morning, so I kind of have more energy than not. And uh, I have a good song in my head right now that would be good for <laughs> it. And yeah. Always choreographing. Yeah, always choreographing. My mind is always working. It's a little ADD, but it's fine. <laughs> I think it's working out for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's doing all right. <laughs> Rhonda says, costumes on dancing are so great. Do you have a favorite costume you've worn? The costumes are incredible, you guys. Like, the wardrobe team is spectacular. They make those costumes in less than four days, and they make them for everybody. Like, it's nuts. Um, I had to say my favorite costume, I have a lot of them, but, like, my most, like, iconic, I think, is when I did the Carlton with Alfonso. Um, that's got to be my favorite dance. And just, like, the dress itself was just so simple, but it was so just, like... It's just so iconic yeah. to the number, and it's just totally fit what we were doing. Um, so I'd have to say that one. That was just, I actually stole it, so just <laughs> don't tell anybody because I loved it so much. Frame it one day in your house. Yeah, I will. The Carlton dress. <laughs> uh, you're also approaching one year of marriage mm -hmm. in January. 
Yeah. How has the last year of Newlywed Life been? It's been so fun. It's been almost eight months now, so we're just having so much fun. We're just enjoying our time together, and um, he lived in Utah and I lived here, so it was kind of hard when um, we weren't together, but now um, it's just, it's been so fun, and he's so supportive of all this stuff. I mean, it's a little crazy because he's a mechanical engineer, so this world is like just different completely world. different, but he's having so much fun just being here and experiencing a new adventure. And you're still both young and a young marriage, but are yeah. kids and everything in the future? Oh, definitely in the future, <laughs> like the far, far future, but definitely there. Um, we're definitely excited for kids. We have a lot of nieces and nephews that we love a lot, so that'll keep us preoccupied for now. Other than the living in separate cities, has there been other challenges of balancing work and married life? There's definitely challenges still. I mean, I think everybody can agree if you are in a relationship and you, you know, have a career, it's definitely hard to balance those two. Um, but, you know, we make it work just like everybody else. And um, if it's worth it, then you'll make it work. So I think the, the biggest challenge for us is just during the show, I am constantly at the studio. Like, I spend more time with my partner than I do with my husband, which he does not like. But that's just the way it is. That's you just know? your job. That's just my job, and, that's, and he totally gets it. Um, so I think that's been the hardest challenge, just being away for so long. But we've, we've been able to kind of, like, integrate that with our personal life as well. So, like, we'll go to dinners with them, and, like, we'll just stay really close. Got it. All right, yeah. back to the show. Kim has an idea of a male cast member who could come on. Chad from The Bachelorette. Did you watch The Bachelorette at all? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a very big fan of The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise. The whole know, Bachelor franchise. The whole Bachelor, everything. I love it. Um, yeah, so Chad, that would be interesting. I don't know if I'd want him as a partner, but um, I'd love to have him on just to <laughs> just he does watch some interesting clips and stuff. He does love to dance on Snapchat. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's like just a lot of air like gyrating. Oh, okay. Sexual. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so again, probably great. don't want him as yeah, a partner, yeah. but would I'll make great TV. That. It would make great TV. I would love just to watch it. All right. Well, be so fun. We cannot wait to watch you on season 23 of Thanks Dancing so with the much. Stars. Hopefully you get a good partner in the next few days. I know. Everybody cross your fingers <laughs> and pray for me. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Leave in the comments below, who do you want her partner to be this year? Who's your dream yes. cast for her? Uh, we're going to wrap this up for now, but thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you so much. So nice to meet Thanks you. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Bye, guys.